Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-vision.com. Today in this video, I will talk about how you can upload a file in Playwright using JavaScript. So in our previous videos, we already discussed a lot of examples, okay? So if you are new to Playwright, I would highly recommend you to check out my playlist where I have uploaded more than 13 videos on Playwright. In this video, we will talk about how to upload files in Playwright. Now, when you talk about file uploader is one of the common scenario nowadays in any application for example this is one of the file uploader where you can select any file and the moment you click on upload it will upload a file for example if i refresh this page and if i just try to upload a single or you know any image and if i click on upload it will take few seconds and it will say file uploaded in your case it could be any scenario where you need to upload a single file or multiple files so very easy approach looks a little tricky but it's very straightforward here in playwright so what i have done i have created already a separate file so that you can save some time we already have a test block and now we're going to start writing so i will start and i will write await and i will write page dot go to and here i will pass the application url so now this is the file uploader so this is the url which we have already have i will pass it here now the next thing is you need to actually upload here see the moment you click on this file chooser right it will open this file chooser for you or you can say file uploader you don't have to click here okay the, because the moment you click here it will open this window again handling this could be a challenging task so now we have an easy method to set the file path what you need to do just go ahead and search for one of the method called set input files set input files and to be more precise if you just search for playwright otherwise you will get directly so if you go to actions see these are the actions that you can perform so playwright can interact with html input elements such as input checkboxes radio button drop downs my click type character t uh, key shortcut as well as upload files okay so this is what exactly we are going to do so this is one separate section where you can just use this method called set upload sorry set input files method so you can upload a single file or you can upload multiple files depends on you this application that we are using right now it supports single file upload but if your application supports multiple file uploads you just need to pass this in a form of array you can see this bracket right you can upload multiple files so we are going to use this now first of all i need to inspect this as I mentioned, you don't have to click, okay? You just inspect this. So right now, this particular element have ID, type, and name equal to file. So if I want to use name, I can use name, okay? I can use ID. Let me go ahead and take ID. So it depends on what kind of locator you have. So I will say page, uh, await page dot locator. And now since I'm using ID, I will use hash and ID name. So basically, this is CSS selector now. And now I will say set uh, input files and you can see you can upload a single file or multiple files upload files or multiple files using this and it will support input type equal to file so if you see this is input type equal to file so it should work now depends on what kind of file you want to upload you want to you can give the path here so as of now i will try to give the complete path so let's say on the my desktop i have this okay so on my desktop if i right click and get info so this is the info i have let me copy this complete space okay so this is the path user my current user desktop and the file name is image one dot png so make sure you give the extension also if you don't give the extension again it will not work so make sure you give proper extension whether it's a png file or pdf or excel whatever extension provide the extension now let's give a try so see this is our file upload.spec.js now i can run this program either from cli or i have one of the plugin installed so if i go here this is the file that we created right verify file upload I can run directly from here so let's see see it has actually 
given that particular image is image one dot png. Let me close this and let me show you once again. The moment you click on it, it started. Right? It will open that URL first, and it will upload image one dot png. Now, uploading image is not the only task. We need to click on upload, and we need to see whether we are getting this particular message or not, which is file upload, right? So first of all, I will also click on this. So once the file is up uploaded, I will click on this upload. Now again, you have multiple options here, right? So you can use this value, you can use ID, you can also use class. Let me go ahead with ID again. Main intention of this video is to show you how to verify now after uploading, but depends on what is your preference. You can go with that particular locator. I took ID again. And now I will say click. Now once you click on it, uh, let me select a file again and click on upload. I need to capture this, right? So again, if I inspect this, this is just a H3 tag. So heading one, heading two, heading three, right? So it's a heading H3, which is H3 tag. I need to just cross check whether the file uploaded message is coming or not. What I can do now, I can use expect, okay. And again, I will be using await page dot locator. And now, since we have this h3, I can double say double slash h3. And once it is done, I will use one of the existing method called to have text. And I will just check whether this particular text is present or not. So what I'm saying, uh, first of all, find this locator and check whether this particular locator have this text or not. Now let me close this, run it once again, and let's see. So it's loading. Yes, it clicked on upload we got the text and yes this is successful perfect so now file has been uploaded now what I am doing right now I am giving the proper path right so it is on my desktop and tomorrow let's say I move this file to some other directory or maybe I change some locations obviously this test will fail again so good practice is always keep your files in the same directory because let's say tomorrow you are executing this complete test on some VM or some containers. So your file should be present in that particular system as well. So what I will do now, I will go ahead and create one folder here. This folder name, you can any you can write anything. Okay, like uh, files, maybe I will say uploads, like these are the files I want to upload here. And now I will keep this particular image in that particular location. So for example, if I copy this image, Okay, and if I go to this particular folder, which is basically this one, and I will paste here. Now, if I want to give the relative path, how you will do it? So, first of all, you will write one dot. So, basically, right now my test, which is the file upload dot spec dot js, right? It is available here. So, the moment I say dot, it will go to the parent directory. Then, I will say go to upload folder so basically it will come to upload folder now inside upload folder now we have image 1.png and it will upload the same so this time instead of hard coding we are saying first go to parent directory then go to upload and then upload this file so in this way even if you are changing some files okay so you, sorry in case if you are removing some files adding some files make sure you maintain here so that it will be standard across all the systems now if you run this, still it uploaded the same image 1.png and we are good to go. Just to cross check whether it's picking directly from here or not, what I will do, I will change this to image 2 and now change it image 2.png and just run it once again. So this time you will see it will not upload image 1, it will upload image 2. Yeah, image 2.png right and upload and file upload it and the test pass quite easy now i would highly recommend spend some time on the documentation 
so suppose if you want to set multiple files you can just pass multiple files separated by a comma and you can continue suppose if you want to remove all the selected files you can just pass the array which is blank array and it will remove the selected files and if you want to upload from the memory and there are some other options so please give a try and let me know if you need any other help if you like this video if this video helped in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care